very much. I'd like to change to, uh, I suppose we've all uh, either taken part in or watched um, recent uh, centenary celebrations for the Battle of the Song. And we're going to play four bits of music that uh, I watched for years being played by the foot guards at usually at Remembrance Sunday. And uh, they're probably four of the tunes most associated with World War I. They are a long way to Tipperary, Pack Up Your Troubles, Mademoiselle from Armateur, and Carry Me Back to Dear Old Blighty, and claim me these are known as March Pass Medley. <laughs> I just changed the order, I'm sorry. <laughs> I keep them on their toes. <laughs>
that's um, tuning on the way around. The next tune is going to be a trio of uh, waltzes. And uh, these were arranged originally for the 2011 trip to the colour by the then court director of the Scots Cars, Douglas Robertson, and there are three tunes associated with the bard himself, Robbie Burns. They are a fond kiss, my love is like a red, red rose, and last minute she banged some braids and collectively called them a fond kiss.
Okay, change the tempo again. And uh, if you watch some of the services they done last week for uh, the song, you'll hear them singing this and uh, over at the uh, Ulster Tower people. And again, they're saying that the men actually on the front a hundred years ago actually sung these uh, hymns as well. This one by a guy called Henry Francis Light. And uh, we used to over the years, I remember uh, kind of was uh, watching the FA Cup final all the years, still sung to this day, and saying sung during battle. Um, so I'm going to say the centenary last week of the song, and it's a bite of me. So first one is the British Grenadiers. Second tune is Hail and Maddie. Third one is Gary Owen and the finish Hot and the Hair. And if you kind of missed them the first time round, which hopefully you'll not, you hear me a few bars each tune at the end to finish it off. And this is called Trim the Colour. Thank you. 
right, we'll maybe play one more, and then we'll say we can run it right just for you. This one again has the theme of uh, uh, two world wars. This one, from the second one, and it's a march commemorating D Day. And uh, if some of you are old enough like me to remember uh, Jean Michel Jarre, this is actually, he, he's also a famous musician in his own right. Turned during the 80s, was electronic music, and uh, this. Uh, March was composed by his father, they were not called Morris Shar. And uh, he actually done other film scores like Lawrence Arabia, Doctors of Argo, and Ghost, straight up until more modern days. And again, this arrangement is uh, by another former Balmain Young Punters conductor, Lee Masson. He's done a lot of work for the band over the years, and this is The Longest Day.
very much. Just to continue, um, so I'm going to start with that at a band practice. And uh, as one of sort of guests, the band kind of tuned up. And uh, just one of the detail, it was actually done, arranged by a man with the grand name of the Reverend Clement Cotterfield Schofield. And of course, Tony and his and Clement and a shoesy song to the tune today to the Lord of the Lord. What I can change now with a change of tempo, tempo and it's a march by a guy called William Panel. It says very little for this guy, you think he is a soldier in the Queen's Royal Regiment of West Surrey. And it's written in the state of an American, uh, African American cake walk. And this is called McGregor for you Last week at the uh, centenary service for the song, and again, it was uh, some of the recall that the soldiers actually fought, and the song actually played and sang themselves. And uh, it's done by a guy called Arthur Sullivan, and it was adopted by the Salvation Army as their favourite processional march, and it is Homer Christmas Soldiers.
okay. I'm uh, going to play one now. There's no less than seven pieces of music. Uh, I mentioned earlier on a guy, John Henchy, who was a former uh, conductor in Family Young Conquerors, and this is one of his arrangements. I think we've had about three goes at it over the last 20 years. And it's seven Scottish sort of waltzes, slow airs, and marches. And this is called Yvonne Banks. <laughs> Mm-hmm.
quite funny clap there now. It's quite understandable because there, there's a, quite a, uh, an audible break. But uh, I'm going to play somewhere a few weeks ago when I finally seen Clem. But nobody clapped. We saw how to tell the class. So you never know what to expect sometimes. All right, going to continue the program with the Mars by a guy called Car Latham. All I ever read up on him was City was uh, involved in the military bombs at the Naval Academies in Germany and Holland, and this is a march called Light of Foot. <laughs> years I recently brought it back and uh, marched by a guy called Jeff Golden, a flip bat march and this is called Queen of Battle.
Okay, just before we play our last piece, uh, again, I'd like to thank everyone who's kind of strange the members of the council that was put out the seats for us. When we kind of walked in here an hour ago, they said, um, look, we're not sure whether there's going to be more band than people listening, uh, but it's absolutely great to see so many people come to hear the band and support the band movement, and uh, absolutely delighted, and thanks to the council for giving us the opportunity to come and play here today. So it's the first time we've ever done a Sunday concert, and we hope we do more of them. And thanks to our secretary, Robert and Holmes, for arranging with the council to get the opportunity to do it today. Um, last piece of the evening, um, going to be in March, um, loads of bands played it back in the 80s, and there were so many bands played at the time, bands then started wanting to drop it because everybody was playing it, but then we got so many demands coming over the last 10 years that uh, it's scary, you know, you, you go, go and play for the OIPs and Bershane and it's all very nice and sedate and they give you tea and sandwiches and then they come over and say, by the way, if you don't play Caledou tonight, you're not going out here, so, <laughs> so uh, you're playing. I don't know how many times I've heard the RIR band playing this, but uh, I've probably never seen it better than it did last week when they were walking out of uh, the song at the Ulster Tower. And uh, it is, of course, Kelly. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.